Yeah, a big warm welcome to all the Top Tipper family. Um, racing comes to us on the 12th of March from the Turf and Tain Stanside track. There are nine races carded and the first is due off at 11.55. Guys, I'm going through the card. Um, they look some nice value throughout the day. The first couple of races look as if they're going to run to form. So let's go through the card together. In the first race, um, as I said, you're off at 11.55. It's a juvenile plate over 1160 meters. And in the first race, guys, we've gone for horse number one, Cool Winter. This is Warren Kennedy for Paul Peter. Warren has run it last three occasions. Um, last time out in a juvenile plate, finished fourth behind striker match. Was very, very speedy on that occasion and was outrun really, really late. And the time before that, Warren did win um, a, a, the maiden on this one. And we do think that nicely drawn at nine. We think that this is the right one. For second, we have thrown in horse number 10. And this is Varticus Ryan Munger for Ashley Fortune. Um, last time out, ran third, two lengths to Water Tiger. Very, very speedy on that occasion. Made nice improvement on its first run. Um, we've got to go back and look at the first run. Something was definitely a miss there. There was support for it. And I do believe that this one can certainly go pretty close. For third, we've thrown in horse number 11. This is without equal. Uh, Keegan DeMello for Sean Terry has had two fair runs, fourth on both occasions. Last time out, very, very speedy, was staying on over a thousand meters at this course. And we do think that this one can also fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, gone for horse number two, Eye of the Prophet. This is Muzieni for Paul Matchett. Has had one run. Um, ran against winners on that occasion, was not disgraced, finishing fifth, just over one and a half lengths behind the winner. And again, as I said, in juvenile races, we can see some form uh, reversals. And again, this should be considered. Guys, please take note, there are several first-timers. Of the first-timers, I quite fancy the breeding on horse number six. So watch him go down. Uh, check for the jockey changes if there are any. And don't go crazy in the first couple of races. Um, there's plenty of money to be made later on. The second race, you're off at 12.25. This time it's a juvenile plate for the Phillies. Also to be run over 1160 meters. And the first selection here is horse number eight, Ramaya. This is Keegan DeMello for Mike DeCock. Has had one run with Keegan aboard. Um, was a very, very nice run. Um, was drawn badly last time out. Finished second. Just two lengths behind Miss Cool. Was green on that occasion, but was running on really, really well. I do think that this is the horse to beat. For second, we have gone for horse number seven, National Star. This is Calvin Habib for the Terry Stable. This has had two runs. Calvin has ridden on both occasions. Last time out against winners, finished fourth, seven and a half lengths behind Phoenix Fox. That was not a bad run um, on both uh, its runs, been finishing off uh, blowing. However, I do think that this one will certainly run in the money. For third, we've gone for horse number six, Miss Daisy. Uh, this is Neo Kuali for Billy Raiders. This one has had the one run with Neo aboard. Was a really, really decent effort, finishing fourth. Just over four lengths to Miss Cool. Was slow on the day. Um, would have come on from that run. And again, we're thinking that this one can certainly fill in one of the minor spots and run about 10 to 1 if thrown in and this one arrives can certainly make your swingers Cortez Trafetas pay. For fourth, we have gone for horse number 12, Tis Magic. This is a first timer from the Terry Stable. Richie Faree jumps aboard this one. Uh, this daughter, Pomodoro, very, very nicely bred. 
watch for support on that one watch them go down and again guys they are first timers so don't go too crazy however of those that have run the eight definitely looks the right one yeah we'll move on to the third race this is off at 1255 this is a graduation plate over 1600 meters there are six runners carded and the obvious choice here guys is looks like horse number one castleton cabello marziani for stewie pettigrew um, this has had three runs at the course for a first and a third um, it's very very short i think around about five to ten however it does look the right one in this field for second we have gone for horse number four and this is invincible warrior keegan de Mello, um, retains a ride here for the terry stable this is a second run after arrest. Keegan rode this one last time out, finishing fourth, five lengths behind Captain Linister. Was slow on the day, but was staying on. And again, we do believe this will fill in one of the minor spots. For third, gone for horse number two. This is Western Fort. Sherman Brown for the Paul Peter stable. The last two runs, in my opinion, are blatantly too far, so I'm putting a line through them. This one reverts back to the 1600 meters, did run third behind Leopold um, over 1600 meters, ran second a neck behind Foreign Field, and we thinking that this can fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, threatened horse number five, this is Captain of Grit. This is Warren Kennedy for Candace Dawson. Um, Warren jumps aboard this one has run it before, about six runs back. And um, this one generally will jump, sit right up there. And again, we think that this one can fill in the minor, one of the minor positions. But the one, guys, definitely looks the right one in this field. We move on to the fourth race. Fourth race is Jorf at 1335. It's an 1800 meter listed event. And in the fourth race, guys, we found our first value bet um, and our first value bet is horse number eight Thierry, uh, Thierry del Fiego round about 10 to 1 Ray Danielson jumps aboard this one for the Terry stable it's nasty drawn at six um, we think that it will like the course we think it will like the distance and we are going to certainly have a small each way touch on horse number eight for second, we have gone for horse number one. This is Johnny Hero. Dennis Swarz for Tyrone Zaki. Um, last time out, way below par. It's much better than that. The time before that, over this course and distance, in the, uh, in the feature race, finished second behind second base. And we do believe that this one also ran about 10 to 1. Maybe a decent little place bet. For third, we've gone for horse number nine, Reunion. Currently um, around about 18 to 10. Very, very nice form. Um, however, I don't know if this course will suit. This one uh, tends to jump and set the pace. Um, and again, like I said, I'm not sure about the course suiting the way this one runs. Has had one run in the course, finishing unplaced. Um, but cannot be left out of exotics. For fourth, thrown in horse number 11, Donald McDonald. This is Calvin Habib for Gavin Van Zale. Again, this one round about 16, 17 to 1. Um, if this one runs a drum, can certainly make your swingers, trifectas, and quartets pay. So in race four, guys, gone 8, 1, 9, 11, and we quite fancy the 8 as a nice value bet at 10 to 1. We move on to race five. Race five is due off at 14.05. Another listed event, the Derby Trial, to be run over 2,000 meters. And in the fifth race, we go for horse number four, Flashy, uh, Flashy Apache. Um, this is Dennis Swarz for Tyrone Zaki. Again, we think that round about eight and a half, nine to one, we think this is great value. Um, even for place bets in, in this field, 
I do believe we get over two rand a place in this field. So we fancy flash, uh, flashy Apache as a nice bit of value. For second, guys, we've thrown in horse number seven. This is with pleasure. This is Ray Danielson for Dory Sham. Nicely drawn at one. Has had two uh, runs at the course with a win and a second. And we think that this one, again, can fill in a minor spot and make your swingers and traffic just pay. For third, we've gone for horse number one. This is a current favorite, 28 to 10. And this is litigation. Gavin Arena for the Terry Stable. Um, Gavin has ridden at the last four occasions for two firsts, a third and a fifth. Um, again, we think that maybe the weight will get to this one, but it's still a decent sort and should be included in your exotics. For fourth, gone for another Raffia, gone for horse number five, my master, Muzieni for Robbie Sage. Last on art, this one set the pace, was art run really, really late. Um, finishing fourth, a length and a half behind Zeus. And we think that this one can fill in one of the minor spots. Guys, please take note that horse number two, Motown Magic, has been withdrawn. And our selections are seven, uh, so my apologies, four, seven, one, and five. Race six, due off at 14.40. This is the Oaks Trial for three old fillies to be run over 2,000 meters. And in the sixth race, our first selection here is horse number eight, Green Grow the Lilacs. This is Keegan DeMello for the Canamay uh, uh, stable. Um, we do think that this is, again, very nice value at round about seven to one. Um, we do believe that the 2000 will suit this one down to the ground. And we're certainly going to have a touch on this one. For second, we are thrown in horse number six, Trump My Queen. The Calvin Habib for Gavin Van Zale. Um, we know how well that stable has been doing. Last time out finished fifth, just over two length or two and a half lengths behind Bay CA. And we're looking for some improvement from Trump My Queen. For third, we thrown in horse number four. This is Flame Flower, Warren Kennedy for Paulie Peter. First time over this distance, has, one, has had one run on the course, whereby it won. And this one should not be left out of exotics. For fourth, guys, we thrown in horse number 12, On the Verge. Uh, Grant for Cake takes the ride here for Candace Dawson. Um, this one very, very uh, generally runs up there. Nicely drawn at four, um, is six kilos better off um, than the horse number one. And we think that this one can fill in one of the minor spots. So race six, again, we think there's good value on the eight. We've gone eight, six, four, and 12. We move on to the seventh race, due off at 15.20. This is a grade two Senor Santa stakes to be run over 1160 meters. And in the seventh race, guys, we think this is quite open. Our first selection here, however, is horse number eight. Hello, Winter, hello. Keegan DeMello for Johan Janssen van Furen. This one was taken up to uh, Kenilworth last time out to run the Cape Flying Championship. Finished just over three and a half lengths to Bohica. Was not disgraced. But we're going to go and look. This one has had two runs over the course for two wins. So round about six to one, certainly should not be left out of any permutation. For second, we've gone for the KZN uh, visitor. This is horse number two, Ultra Magnus. Donovan Dinan jumps aboard for the uh, Peter Musket stable. Peter certainly not going to take this one up to Gauteng to look at the weather. And we think that this one can fill in one of the minor spots. For third, we've gone for horse number one, Mr. Flood. Craig Zaki for Lucky Hodalakis. Last time out, this one won a really, really good race at the Val, beating Vasim by just over a length. Um, only negative, yeah, this has had six runs over course and distance and have, has never won um, over course and distance. So we're throwing this one in um, to run third. For fourth, we have gone for horse number 10, Vasim. This is Muzieni for Roy Magna. Finished second behind Mr. Flood last time out. 
Um, we are looking for improvement here with Muzi aboard. And again, shouldn't be left out of your exotics. So race seven, we've gone eight, two, one, and ten. The eighth race on the card, Joffet 1555. And this is the Gold Rush Sprint for three olds to be run over 1,100 meters. Again, another open event. I think the favorite here is around about three to one. In this event, our first selection here, and a narrow first selection, is horse number one, Gallic Chief. This is Muzieni for the Matchet Stable. And last time out, finished second. Bob of the head behind Captain Opie was bumped at 300 out, and as I said, was only just beaten. We do think that this could be the right one in this field. For second, we have gone for horse number seven. This is Cleaver Green. Richard Free for Mike de Kock. This has had two runs and one on both occasions. This is a very, very speedy filly. And my only doubt here is the draw, drawn down the inside. Um, but again, can certainly not be left out of any permutation. I think this is the current favorite, round about three to one. For third, guys, we're throwing in horse number 10, real roughy here. This is Warship, Cabela Maziani. Uh, takes the ride for Candace Dawson. Um, this one is nicely weighted, at carrying only 52 kilos, drawn on the right side of the track, in our opinion. And again, this one can run a drum and can certainly make your PAs or your swingers and trifectas pay. For fourth, threaten horse number two. This is ultra quick, ultra consistent sort. Keegan Demela for Johan Janssen van Furen um, has had two runs at the course, finishing second on both occasions. And again, can certainly be there when the whips are cracking. We've got to take note that this one has blinkers for the first time and should not be left out of your exotics. Race 8, 1, 7, 10 and 2. We move on to the lucky last, race nine, Joff at 1630. This is a Phillies and Mares handicap to be run over 2,400 meters. And in this event, guys, we have gone for horse number six, Cherin Goma. Diego de Gavea jumps back aboard this one for Stewie Pettigrew, a nicely drawn at two, um, mass price at nine to two, has a two runs at the course for a win in a second and we do think that this one will go really really close for second we've thrown in horse number four this is ariam keegan de Mello takes a ride here for sean terry um last time out lacked a strong finish the time before that over 2600 meters um was staying on so we know that the distance will um, this horse will have no problem with the distance and again it should certainly be there when the whips are cracking for third gone for the ultra consistent horse number one Ern de Trois, Ryan Munga for Ashley Fortune um, we know that it will get the distance last time out against the boys finished just under five lengths behind Motown Magic big negative here carrying a hefty weight of 60 kilos for fourth, we have thrown in horse number two, Travelling Wilbury. This is Gavin Arena for the Lucky Hudalaka stable. This one runs really, really well for Gavin. And again, in larger permutations, don't leave this one out. So race nine, guys, gone six, four, one, and two. As I said earlier on, guys, please just take note of the first timers. Watch for jockey changes. Um, guys, when structuring bets with the value bets, if the first one arrives, take the money and run. You know, it's very, very difficult to back four winners. It's hard enough to get two. So if the first one arrives, set yourself a goal, set yourself a, a, a limit on how much you want to make on the day. Once you reach that, walk away. Um, we don't want to feed the horses. We don't want to keep putting money back. So please just structure the bets. Um, We'll start to your bets well, and as I said, we have three value bets in the fourth, fifth, and sixth race, and we're certainly going to have a touch on them. Guys, look after yourself, take care, and um, break a leg, and we'll chat to you guys soon. Ciao for now.